What's good, everybody? Welcome into the Early Edge Powered, as always, by Sportsline. I am the coach, and we are in your feet before 11 a.m. every single day. Coming off kind of a ho-hum Thursday, 4-3 and three. devastation last night as the uh, Dodgers have second and third, nobody out, eighth inning, tie ball game. Our fourth leg of our Jewelers Gym Parlay that was going to pay over plus 700. They can't score. They lose the game. Knife, knife, knife to the heart. But on to the next. We do have a winner in our perfect parlay contest, though. At Little John Live. At Little John Live, the jeweler will reach out to you. You want a year-long subscription to Sportsline because the ridiculous streak lives. Let's bring in my cappers right now. And this man right here, I'm telling you, we are parking a fire truck in front of his house to be prepared. 11 and 0 in his last 11 picks right here on the early edge. M squared. Good morning. Good morning, coach. Yeah, I think the most fun part about it is everyone asking for the glasses, the Nashville SC hoodie. No one wants anything to change right now at this point. So I'm giving the people what uh, I got some plays that I love today. Oh, man. And we're going to be educating a little bit today as well. So I, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, Maestro, how are you today, sir? A little frustrated after uh, a late night loss and a blowout on my prop, but I really love the board today. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. By the way, uh, we have a very special PFL episode of The Early Edge that's in your feed right now, released this morning. We'll be taping a UFC 261 episode of The Early Edge uh, later today with, of course, our guru, Ian Parker, who's been killing it. And that will be released later today as well. So we've got tons of content. Turn on those notifications. Follow us at YouTube or wherever you get your podcast at. All right. Time to look at our storylines that could affect the betting lines. And these NBA players who have decided to play or not play, big impact. M squared, what do you got today? Big impact. Boston Celtics on the road against the Nets. This is the second night of a back-to-back -back for the Celtics. Kimball Walker's already been ruled out. Evan Fournier is doubtful. Robert Williams remains out for two more games. Jalen Brown, questionable to play in this one. On the other side, Kevin Durant is listed as questionable. The Nets are favored by five points here. That tells me Durant is probably closer to probable than questionable at this time, but something to monitor this afternoon. For Atlanta, Cam Reddish, Chris Dunn, DeAndre Hunter remain out. Tony Snell doubtful, but Danilo Gallinari and Clint Capella have both been upgraded to questionable in this game against the Miami Heat. For the Houston Rockets and the Los Angeles Clippers, here's one you're really going to want to watch. It's a 10-point spread. Patrick Beverly, Kawhi Leonard, Serge Ibaka already all been ruled out. Paul George, questionable, but listed as probable. I'm going to list him as questionable personally just because it is such a large spread and it's a good spot for them to pick up some rest. On the Houston side, Kevin Porter remains out. Eric Gordon, DJ Augustine, Dante Exum all remain out there. David Nwaba, Sterling Brown, they are tanking pretty hard at this point. Let's see. One other... Big piece of news I'm missing. Uh, Oklahoma City, Lou Dort, once again, questionable. Um, Mike Muscala out. Hachimura for Washington out as well. A lot of afternoon news coming later today. Well, of course, uh, follow Mikey on social media as he always has the news that's changing. We're almost at a point with the show that we're just staying away from the NBA until we get to the playoffs because this is absolutely ridiculous. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. They've got to figure this out as they move forward, especially as they're partnering with different sports books. Uh, throughout the next several years, you cannot continue to have this in the last uh, week of the season. Maestro, you look like you have something you want to say. Oh, you know, I actually did it. I was just uh, texting with some buddies up in New York who are psyched because the governor signed the online sports betting bill, and it's going to happen. I'm hearing by Super Bowl Sunday next year, online sports betting in New York. Got a lot of friends up there who are tired of crossing the bridge, going to different <laughs> yes. Starbucks and either over the GW or in Hoboken. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's what's, that's what's going on with me. That's awesome. That That's definitely a storyline that's going to affect the betting lines in New York City. And by the way, the PGA Tour just announced they're going to be building a sports book at TPC Scottsdale, which is going to be amazing and be open in the next couple of years as well. So everything is really starting to, uh, to move along. All right, let's jump into our boards uh, today. And don't forget, we're using the promo code EDGE right now. We're giving you that uh, promotion again. If you use the promo code EDGE, you can get Sportsline 30 days for free. All of our cappers, all of our simulations, everything. And I'm telling you, the value, you cannot put a price tag on it. And by the time the 30 days is up, you're playing with house money. Speaking of house money, we're going to the NHL. Matt Severance 
had kind of a rough night last night, but he has been on point with his NHL picks thus far. We're going Rangers minus 160 over the Flyers. Now, Flyers had a big upset last night. That won't happen in back-to-back nights, plus the incredible effort uh, by Brian Elliott in the net. Well, he's not going to be in the net tonight. He's not playing back-to-back nights. So we're taking the Rangers, dropping the 160. We're okay with that juice. All right. I've been looking forward to this all morning. <clears throat> M squared. Whew, 11 and 0, baby. 11 and 0, baby. You know the drill, son. Give it to me. All right, coach. Let's keep it going. I've got three plays today, and two of them are going to be in the same game. We're going to start with the Chicago Cubs. I'm going to be taking them on the first five inning run line. So that's going to be minus a half a run at minus 105. What that means here is they have to be winning the game at the end of the fifth inning. Good news here is you get the bottom of the fifth inning to add on anything potentially here in this spot. I love this matchup for them against Brett Anderson. Brett Anderson simply has no strikeout upside at the major league level at this point in his career. The Cubs quietly, they, they've really not been a great offensive team. They're coming on strong the last week here, but they haven't been great so far this season. However, they have been pretty good against left-handed pitching. They're top 10 and weighted on base average against left-handed pitching. They are first in ISO which is going to be a really decent metric of power. We know this lineup has a lot of big power bats. They get decent air quality today. The wind will be blowing out a little bit at Wrigley. That's going to help them a lot more than it's going to help the Milwaukee Brewers in this matchup. On the other side, Kyle Hendricks has enough strikeout upside against the Brewers who strike out the second most in Major League Baseball, which is a trend continuing all the way from last season. Very much a watered down lineup. So the second play in this game, I'm also taking the run line for the entire game. So minus one and a half plus 140. First half run line and full game run line on the Chicago Cubs. And then my final play is going to be the Royals minus 115 on the road against Detroit. My simulations make this line minus 128. Pretty good edge at this point here for the Royals. I like them against Casey Mize. He has a 375 expected weighted on base average. While Miner has struggled a little bit, this Detroit lineup is not good against left-handed pitching. They are by far the worst in baseball against left-handed pitching by over 50 points. The weighted on base average comes in around 225 right now. We do expect that to regress and get better over the course of the season, but they're very clearly the worst team in baseball against left-handed pitching. Take the Royals, minus 115. Oh, my goodness. I feel like we just took three tickets straight to the pay window before we even took them. But it's that time of the show, everybody. It's time to prop it like it's hot with the maestro. Maestro, the floor is yours. All right, coach. I'm going to start off with a couple props. Uh, Russell Westbrook over 13 and a half rebounds. You're getting plus money, plus 105 against the Thunder. Now, we only had 11 in the last meeting, but that was an outlier. 15 in the last 20 has gone over this number. And I think the key is no Hachimura, no Avdia, the rookie from Israel. Those are the second and third, or the third and fourth best rebounders on the team after Westbrook and Gafford. So um, I just think the, the rebounds are going to be there tonight. He's going to go over this number. Same game Baisley over 16 and a half points even money at William Hill you'll find different odds elsewhere but this is our partner and while we're getting good odds on both these props at William Hill today he's had 26 points each of the last two games had 26 against the Wizards has shot that was two games ago has shot 22 free throws the last couple of games I hope Lou Dort doesn't play but even if he does Baisley getting a ton of shots 44 shots the last two games over 16 and a half points there and then in baseball one play I just think the Oakland A's you know if, if the jersey said the Yankees and they had won 11 straight they'd be laying more than than 130 today against the Orioles and Lopez who's got an 856 ERA uh, the A's starter is, not, is nothing special, but the lineups are so different. This team has won 11 straight, great bullpen. That one game against the Twins, pretty much an outlier. Before that, they were dominating uh, with their pitching. Uh, so I'll lay the 130 with Oakland. Oh, I feel really good about all of those picks. We're up against it. Grab your paper, grab your pencil. It's time for the recap. Jeweler, there we go. All right, M Squirt, he's on the Cubs minus a half run for the first five. Remember, hit the first five. Know where you're placing your bets. Then on the run line for the entire game, minus one and a half, minus 140. The Royals, minus 115 over the Tigers. You heard a stat about left-handed pitching and the Royals' bats. Then the Maestro, he's on the A's, minus 130. Love the A's right now. Then two props, Westbrook over 13 and a half rebounds, plus money, and Baisley over 16 and a half points, also plus money. 
Uh, from Sports Sun, we're just going with the Rangers. Minus 160 over the Flyers. 7 Eastern uh, is the drop the puck time for that game. In our Jewelers Gym, parlay of the day. We're going four ways again for the second day in a row. Hopefully the fourth can hit this time. Rangers, minus 160 in the NHL. The A's, minus 125 in baseball. The Cubs, minus one and a half runs, plus 140. And the Bruins, on the ice, minus 335. All four of those hit. You're going to get a return of plus 812. Let's go. It's Friday. <clears throat> Don't forget about all of our MMA episodes. PFL in your feed right now. UFC 261 coming later today. And, of course, this episode right here. You've got your marching orders. Let's take all of these tickets straight to the pay window. For M squared, can he keep his streak alive? And the maestro, the jeweler, coach, the only place. Let's have a day for your daily early edge. Good luck.